if you watched our last episode, you've seen how we went through Hurricane K and what a wild ride that was. Um, but we made it. Yay! And we thought we'd cover a few things today that we didn't cover in our last video of prep and, and things that we didn't expect to happen during and after the hurricane. So, um, yeah, let's get at it. So, first thing I noticed was that the anticipation was a lot worse than the event. May have been just because it was a small hurricane. It was a category one. Um, but one of the most important things we learned is you just need to take the time to prep your boat. Strip the sails, pull the headsail down, pull the mainsail down, pull off your canvas, pull off your solar, which we did not do. But in another situation like that, we will definitely pull off our solar. There were moments I thought it was going to bend and break. And I went out there with lines and tied it down. I feel like if the wind was a little bit stronger, we may have done a little damage to our bimini um, and potentially lost some more solar. So next time, it's coming down. And it gives you a great reason to look at your rig. You look at your sails as you bring it down and all your lines, and it just gives you a reason to actually go over your boat. So take advantage of it, I guess, and just pull everything down. Don't even question it. Just pull it down. So another thing we didn't really realize um, was while we were prepping the boat with food and water and making sure that we have everything we need, it was the focus was to get through the hurricane, to get through the hurricane. Well, you don't really realize what's going to happen after the hurricane. If the hurricane turns into a big storm, which this turned into a hurricane, um, what is it going to do to the town and the surrounding areas? And hurricane, excuse me, Hurricane K, even though it was small, it still, it washed out the desert roads. It washed out um, towns, uh, took out power lines and the Wi-Fi. And so we were actually kind of grateful and lucky that we have enough supplies and are pretty self-sufficient on the boat. But, you know, you don't think about making sure that you bring enough cash with you because if the power goes out and is out for a couple days, which it was, they initially said it'd be out for a week or two and they got it up pretty quickly. But the power comes on, but that doesn't mean the Wi-Fi is back. <laughs> Credit card machines don't work without right. internet. Right, <laughs> and it was about three weeks before the Wi-Fi was back consistently for most of the town that we were near. So that left some people kind of struggling with how to pay for things. They had the money, but they couldn't, they couldn't pay for it. Also, you know, the roads get wiped out, your supplies go down. So making sure that you have enough food to get through the hurricane plus the, a week or two after, at least. At least two I mean, weeks. Think about that with your water and your food and anything that you need to survive. You need to make sure that you're good. Um, topping off your water tanks with your water makers before because the water is going to be nasty that comes out. I mean, if you think about everything on land, washes out into the sea. Bugs. Oh my gosh, the bugs. <laughs> there were times in some of the bays that the bugs were so, so bad, whether it was mosquitoes or noceums or bobos or, or whatever, some biting, some non-biting. It could be downright miserable. They were just taking over. So being able to protect yourself from the bugs and, and having screens on your boat to keep them mostly out so that you have a little bit of breathing room um those are definitely going to be on our list to make sure that we're got for the next time if we ever have to do this again uh the other thing that you won't realize is how mentally taxing and stressful it kind of was actually um yeah it wears you out not physically because <laughs> you're just sitting there on your anchor right but all the prep before and the anxiety you're not quite sure what's going to happen um we were exhausted i think for two days it took us a couple of days just to decompress. And I think by the third or fourth day, we finally started putting our boat back together. I mean, other people left sooner than that, but um, yeah, it took us a while to, <laughs> to just get back into our little rhythm again. So those are some of the things we thought of after the hurricane that we could have done a little better. Um, obviously, you're going to anchor well. You're going to find a hurricane hole. You're going to do everything you can. Those few things, though, were a little unexpected. The lack of supplies in town, not having enough cash, 
how stressful it was, how long it took to recoup. Oh, and you know, no, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I can go on and on and on, but when I meet up with you sometime, we'll have a conversation and I have a million stories to tell you. <laughs> we were glad it was a small hurricane. It was a good primer for maybe a bigger one. We will be better prepared next time, which we hope we never have to be. But we are cruising full time. Obviously, you try to avoid hurricane season, but sometimes things just happen. So yeah, we came up here because they've only had one, one hurricane. Yeah, this was the, the place to be. This was the place to be, and the hurricane chased us down. But we were, we were. That was the best decision for us to make in the situation that we were in was to be here, and it, it worked out well. Yeah, everything was fine. Every boat did well. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Um, we'll get right to it. Yeah, and back to work. <laughs>
guys ready for this? Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Warmer in there. Just wait. Yeah, butt in the middle, legs are the top. Uh oh, you're not floating. <laughs> There you go. Hold on. Are you floating? Oh no! There you go. Oh no! <laughs> I think this has potential. There you go. There you go. Ah! <laughs> oh no! There it is. You gotta, you gotta pull this one now. Do they need to be longer? Or? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, you just do it. <laughs> I should not have made fun of How's your floaty? Like I'm floating redneck. Fine. Fine. I am a redneck because I'm floating on the fenders. No, Jessica. Oh, you can go if you want. Jessica goes before. Jessica goes always last. Okay, then I go. She hasn't scored yet. Well, she scored when she met you. What? Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs a reminder of that. <laughs> Come on, guy. We're having a little bromance. I always after you. So what's back? Backwards. Yes, it's so. backspin. It's really going to stick when you throw it. <gasps> Overshot. Oh. Oh! What is it? It's gonna be a winner. Oh, you might have won. Timber would be proud. Timber would be proud. No, but there's only a, a very small amount of oh there's only a small amount of times that we're gonna see this in our entire life. Look at the con like right with the thick Bye. I have never seen this before. Very cool. It's like lava, hot lava. <laughs> <laughs>